Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 destinations in Australia for 2021. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most compelling and unique cities, towns, islands, regions, and natural spaces in Australia. Number 10. Gold Coast and Byron Bay Encompassing millions of square miles and numerous diverse landscapes, Australia is quite the impressive landmass. That's a lot of ground to cover and explore, but much like the country's residents, you'll likely find yourself drawn to the coastline. Located in southeastern Queensland, Gold Coast is Australia's sixth largest city, but first in the hearts of many. It often gets overlooked by international travelers, but the city's subtropical climate, consistently great weather, and position along the East Coast makes it one of the most popular getaways for Australians. Days are spent surfing and soaking up sun, nights are for exploring the city's many bars and clubs. Further north along Australia's East Coast, in the state of New South Wales, Byron Bay is a great alternative for those who prefer a more relaxed pace. This beach town is a haven for surfers, artists, yogis, or anyone looking to relax. Number 9. Tasmania Leaving the mainland for a taste of adventure to the south, we arrive at the island state of Tasmania. Even by Australian standards, Tasmania's history is notably complex and messy. Whether you are a history buff or not, everyone can benefit from a crash course in the island's colonial and aboriginal past. Armed with context and knowledge, it's time to appreciate Tasmania's ample natural beauty. Whether you're hiking Cradle Mountain or exploring the rugged coastline by boat, this island will take your appreciation for the Australian wilderness to new heights. And yet, for all its natural splendor, Tasmania is equally known for its cultural offerings, particularly in the capital city of Hobart. Throughout the year, it plays host to a wide array of food, wine, beer, music, and arts festivals. Its produce and exports are the stuff of legend, so foodies will find much to appreciate. Number 8. Margaret River Region Speaking of culture you can taste, enophiles won't want to skip over the Margaret River Region. Actually, once you arrive, you may want to spend your entire trip there. Australia is spoiled when it comes to wine country. Yarra Valley, Hunter Valley, Coonawarra, and the Barossa Valley, they're all well worth adding to your itinerary if wine is a priority for you. But if you only have time for one, make it Margaret River. Located at the southwestern extremity of the country and extending to the sea, the region produces both red and white wines in a wide variety. That being said, it's best known for its Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, and Sauvignon Blanc. And yes, you can rest assured that like most high-profile wine regions, Margaret River boasts a culinary scene to match. There's also some quality surfing there, but you really shouldn't mix wine and waves. Number 7. Lord Howe Island Looking for an experience enjoyed by few travelers during your time in Australia? Consider booking yourself passage to Lord Howe Island. Located in the state of New South Wales, some 320 miles off of the mainland, this island is really something special. Its natural beauty and wildlife is so remarkable that it has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site of global natural significance. Lord Howe Island is home to a number of endemic species found only here, while the towering volcanic mountains, Mount Gower and Mount Lidgebird give the entire landscape a certain epic quality. Ball's Pyramid, a rock formation 14 miles off the island, is similarly eye-catching. Because Lord Howe Island's ecosystem is considered so precious, only 400 tourists are permitted on the island at any given time. So be sure to plan ahead. Number 6. Great Ocean Road Far more accessible and easily added to the itinerary on a whim, Australia's Great Ocean Road is a world-class coastal drive. It's right up there with the Amalfi Coast and California's Coastal Highway 1. Located west of Melbourne, this 151-mile stretch of road makes for an absolutely life-changing drive. Winding along the coast from Allensford to Torquay, or vice versa, Great Ocean Road spans two national parks and gives drivers unparalleled scenic vistas. Every twist, turn, and straightaway reveals a picture-perfect sight, but there are also a few specific notable landmarks that warrant special attention. These include the Twelve Apostles, a collection of rock formations rising out of the ocean, and Lockard Gorge. The drive can be done in a single day, but we wouldn't recommend it. 
With so many photo ops, coves to explore, seaside villages to visit, and surf spots to try out, Great Ocean Road is best enjoyed at a slower pace. Number 5. Kangaroo Island Do we really need to say more? That's a name that sells itself. Kangaroo Island is located 70 miles southwest of Adelaide and encompasses 1,701 square miles of land. It's home to a wide variety of noteworthy species, including little penguins, koalas, echidnas, sea lions, and numerous types of bird, including the glossy black cockatoo. The starring attraction, however, is the island's namesake population of kangaroos, and there are a number of tour operators to help you get the most out of your wildlife odyssey. If you can't get enough of Australia's unique animals, you'll also want to add Rottnest Island to the itinerary. Located off the coast of southwestern Australia, this roughly 46-square-mile island is best known for its quokkas, a small and freaking adorable marsupial found in a few other places in Australia. Number 4. Kakadu National Park If you're a fan of vast, untarnished expanses of wilderness, then Australia should be at the very top of your bucket list. One could spend months exclusively exploring the national parks and still feel the need to make a return trip. Nambung National Park stands out with its limestone pillars, known as the Pinnacles. Karajini National Park is a land of adventure, with gorges, waterfalls, and slot canyons just waiting to be explored. Uluru Katachuta National Park takes its name from Uluru, a towering sandstone monolith considered sacred to the local Aboriginal people. But if you only have time for one national park, our endorsement is Kakadu. It's not an easy choice, but with its thousands of ancient rock art sites, epic landscape, and numerous landmarks, it's the clear choice. Number 3. Sydney As the country's biggest city, Sydney often feels like Australia's beating heart. It boasts some of the nation's most iconic structures, including the Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge. But honestly, the city as a whole feels like an attraction. Built around the harbor, Sydney's skyline is absolutely inspiring and its layout is unlike any other city in the world. And it's got a lively energy to match. For all its cultural and economic clout, there are also national parks and green space all around it, including the Blue Mountains. On top of everything else, Sydney is blessed with a selection of great beaches to choose from. These include Manly Beach, a great place for aspiring surfers, Coogee and Bondi Beach. They each have something unique to offer, but for something extra special, check out Bondi Beach during the Christmas holidays. Number 2. Whitsunday Islands We've got three words for you. Great Barrier Reef Easily one of Australia's most important national treasures, this massive coral reef system is the largest of its kind. It spans an area of roughly 133,000 square miles and is home to countless species. Unfortunately, it's currently threatened on all sides by climate change, pollution, overfishing, and invasive species. So, when you visit, it's crucial that you book with a reputable company and respect the reef. Of course, you can't spend all your time in the water, and the Whitsunday Islands is where you'll rest your head. Encompassing 74 islands, this popular getaway is the perfect place to kick back, relax, and enjoy the sand, sun, and sea. With so many islands and beaches to choose from, it's not hard to find your own little slice of paradise. Whether you're looking for a resort experience or prefer camping, the Whitsunday Islands can accommodate. Fraser Island, though separate from the Whitsundays, is another good option when exploring the Great Barrier Reef. Number 1. Melbourne It's not the biggest city in Australia, nor is it the country's capital, but after visiting Melbourne for yourself, you'll understand why we decided to give it our top spot. Sydney understandably has it beat in terms of beaches, but when it comes to culture, Melbourne rivals the likes of New York City, London, Los Angeles, Seoul, Rome, Tokyo, and Paris. A youthful entrepreneurial DIY spirit has made Melbourne a world leader when it comes to music, coffee, food, fashion, art, and more. While it's on the cutting edge of just about every trend, it's equally a haven for sports fans and outdoor enthusiasts, which is a balancing act that very few cities can pull off with such grace. Like Los Angeles and Paris, Melbourne is a cosmopolitan city that needs to be explored at length to be fully appreciated. Each neighborhood is distinct, with its own unique charms and quirks. Be warned, settling in Melbourne isn't cheap, but after your first visit, you may never want to leave. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.